Hello everyone, Dee from Turbo Dove. Welcome any new subscribers. I have a few more new subbies, so that's great. Almost up to 1k. So it's taken me a few years. <laughs> it's very slow, but I do appreciate anyone who pops over to watch some of my videos. I really appreciate it. And don't forget, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please do and leave a comment as well and anyway I'm here today with a whip and chat this diamond painting I'm making for my eldest granddaughter she loves Pokemon and this is one of the characters so this particular one I bought from fan cells so I'll leave the link to their website online shop in the description for you just in case you want to go over and have a look just take the protective cover off and I'll show you the progress I've been making so you can see all the sparkle and I've mainly finished bit of the background mostly on either corner the blues look beautiful and just a little bit of the blues in the middle so I might do a little bit with you now where is my timer where is it there it is I'll just put my timer on just to keep an eye on the time otherwise I could go for an hour and a half and not realize it so okay so now deciding on what to do next I think I will continue working in and I will do I will work on The symbol C, which is number 20. So I'll just get that from my little... I don't know what you call this. But I'll just put all my drills that I'm working on in here. Just to keep them in one spot. But I need to put some little partitions in there and number them so... But it's easy to find the number that I'm after. Okay, that's number 20, so that's a beautiful teal colour. And they are round drills. So, let's see. Just pour some of those in here. Yeah, this is from my eldest granddaughter and... It'll be a birthday present, and her birthday's not till the end of the year, but I still need to frame a whole lot of diamond paintings. And, yeah, I like to not do these sort of things last minute. But I spent on and off a little bit of time over the last day working on this, so it won't take too long. So I might do a little bit with you, and then... I'll finish that part of the video up and when I finish this in a few days I'll come back and show you the completed project. I think that's a good way to do it. I've already recorded a video earlier today. It was a PR package a review from a VIP cross stitch. So that one you will have already seen this one I've got a few already ready to go to upload I do record ahead of time so that's the only way I can do things I have to record when I have the chance so now let's see time to zoom in and we will work on this section up here and then I'll move around to the bottom. OK. 
Okay, hopefully you can see that okay. And I did remember to put washi tape on the edge this time around. Sometimes I've oh, that's my phone. That's my exercise app. It reminds me to drink some water, so I'll do that right now. Oh these bottles are getting thinner and thinner. And when you grab them they just want to collapse in. Just a little sip. Otherwise I'll be going to the toilet all day long. <laughs> right, let's start. With the symbol C. So hubby and I went for a drive today um, and had a coffee, had a walk in a country town and stopped and had a coffee. I went to Woolworths and bought a little packet of sushi and we thought we'd go across to a cafe and grab a coffee and we'll just quickly eat my sushi as well. It was only in a little packet and um, I was really shocked as the lady gave us our coffees. She said that we can't bring in food from somewhere else and We, yeah, basically, I just said, okay, well, we'll leave, which she, that's what she wanted us to do. And I thought that was really rude because we had purchased coffees there. It's not like we were just sitting there and bringing our own food and drinks. So we bought two coffees and then, yeah, we weren't allowed to sit on the table in the store because, in the cafe, because I had some food that I wanted to eat from somewhere else, which... If that was a restaurant, fair enough, or some fancy place, but this was just a little takeaway coffee shop opposite um, a supermarket in a shopping mall. And, yeah, so, suffers to say my husband went online and gave them a bad review. <laughs> and, of course, we won't be back. So, I think... You know, we would have been there 10, 15 minutes. They weren't even busy. Um, probably not even half full of customers. So, yeah, we're just going to vote with our pockets and not go back. So I don't know if them as a business, if that was worth it or not. Um, but anyway, yeah. So, yeah, we ended up sitting in the car, having our coffee, and it was a takeaway coffee, but we did let them know that we wanted to sit at the table. That way we could just leave when we wanted and still bring the coffee with us if we hadn't finished. Ah, what is the world coming to, I tell you? But anyway, we had a lovely walk around the suburb. It's a seaside country suburb and lots of old homes with beautiful gardens. It was really nice walking and yeah, as soon as we went in the mall it started raining so we got our little walk in. We didn't do a big walk today. but Tomorrow my sister and I are taking mum out for lunch it's mother's day this coming weekend which you might see this after mother's day actually um, you might not see this video for a week but anyway we are getting together for mother's day and just going out for lunch and then maybe do a little bit of window shopping so that should be nice We went to, hubby and I went to that country town I was talking about and um, wanted to look at some antique shops but they were all shut 
most of them are just open on the weekend so let's say Monday as I film this still see let's see yep there goes my ring someone's gone walked past the front of the house sometimes that can be annoying You can set it so it's not so sensitive and it doesn't go, sometimes it can go off if trucks or cars go by. But normally goes off if someone walks their dog, walks past the house or something like that. The purple's going to look nice on the right side the painting pretty blue look at that So yeah, I thought I would record two videos today and that way I don't have to worry tomorrow. I still like to record an ASMR video but I'm not, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I've been working on the Autumn Cottage cross stitch, the 11 count. And I'm almost finished half of it. I was unsure right from the beginning about it being too pixelated, too busy looking and not enough definition. And I don't know if I'll make a video about it or not and show you, but I'm not sure if I'm going to go on with that. I've put a lot of work into it, um, but it's going to look awfully pixelated. So... Not sure if I should continue. I might continue it slowly and start another couple of cross stitches. There's a couple of cross stitches I want to start that I reviewed and they're really cute. So maybe I'll start two other cross stitches and do a few whips on that and then eventually I'll show you at least the finished half of the autumn cottage that I've been working on. Now, I wonder if I can get you in closer. Just have to get into the centre here and there with these colours. The blues and purples always look lovely together. Yeah, so that autumn cottage cross stitch it sort of put me off of the no brand kits and the eleven count, but I shouldn't let that put me off. But I did have a inkling that it's going to be too pixelated so I should stick with my first I can't think of the word feelings or intuition
18 degrees Celsius it is today. Oh, actually, no, 16, sorry, 16 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's starting to get a little bit colder. I'm sitting here with bare feet at the moment, so soon... I did have my socks on earlier, but... Soon I'll be putting my slippers on during the day. Keep a bit warmer. It's not cold enough to put the heater on yet. But it does get chilly early in the morning and sort of late afternoon-ish. Okay, just looking around the canvas for more sea symbols. Okay. I hope I'm not making you dizzy with moving the canvas. I should get in the habit of not talking when I move the canvas, that way I can edit it out. If it looks like it's going to be too dizzying. <laughs> Just going to readjust, not have to spin the canvas around. Just using the single placer for this canvas because it's fairly small and I've noticed that I can place them a little bit straighter using the single. I don't know why.
after I've finished this, I want to start on a city themed diamond painting. And I think it's a little bit bigger than this one. Not too much bigger, but that one's for my daughter for her birthday. And then after that, I might do some more of those special jewel diamond paintings that I hauled from my Vansell's haul. Because soon I want to start my one of my bigger diamond paintings from the Diamond Art Club. Just whoop that one dropped. Dropped right where it was supposed to be, I think. <laughs> Unless I didn't pick it up in the first place. Sometimes you think you pick drills up and then you realise you don't. You haven't. Now, am I still in shop? Yep. Grab more drills. Okay, now where was I? I'll just grab some more wax while I'm at it. that one up properly and got some excess wax. Now where did that go? That's what happens when you look away. I was looking for the bin. Nearly out of shot there I think. That one was just out of shot. Oh, this wants to pick up two. A little bit of wax on the side, that's why. Checking. Okay. 
Okay, I think that is all the seas around here. So one couple over here. Finished with that symbol. See if I can see a C. <laughs> I think that's it, guys. So, what's the time? 26 minutes. Okay, let's zoom out. I just spin this around so you can see. Isn't it pretty? This one sparkles a fair bit. Don't ask me what the character's name is on this, I don't know. So, I shall continue over the next few days and I will be back to show you the finished canvas. Thanks for joining me everyone. Take care and we will see you next time. Bye for now.